गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल क्लासेस बाय डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि कुमार आचार्य एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्लीज गिव योर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स फ्रेंड्स एज यूजल टुडे आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ए न्यू टॉपिक एंड टूडे बेसिकली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ए योगा ए फॉर्मुलेशन विच इज़ वेरी कॉमनली यूज इन पीडियाट्रिक प्रैक्टिस ऑफकोर्स मेनी ऑफ द practitioners of ayurveda use this particular formulation for the children in various disorders let us have a discussion on that particular yoga the name of the yoga is kumara kalyana rasa kumara kalyana rasa is very famous okay very famous combination which is commonly used in children this kumara kalyana rasa is basically explained in baishajya ratnavali in baishajya ratnavali bala roga adhikara this is explained in the shloka number somewhere around 122 to 126 now as the name suggests kumara kalyana so this is for the welfare of the kumara this yoga is explained for the welfare of the kumara that means it maintains the normal healthy status of the child hence the name kumara kalyana kalyana is welfare okay satvam is also kalyana karakam similarly so kalyana is a welfare so this is for the welfare of the child that means it helps to maintain the normal physiological and biochemical uh, parameters of the children now if you go into the classics the shloka goes like this sindhuram mauktikam hemam vyomayoho hemam akshikam kanya rasena samvardhyam kuriyat मुद्गमितम वटी सिमिलरली वटिका वटिकाधमवाह वो अवस्था विवश्च क्षीरेण सीतया स अर्धम बालेशु विनियोजेत वाट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दिस कुमाराण ज्वर कासम वमनम पारिगर्भिक ग्रहदोषाश्च निखिला स्तन्य आग्रहण तथा कामलायम अतिसार कृशता वन ही वैकृत रस कुमार कल्याणो नाशये तत्र न संशय सो दिस इज द रेफरेंस गिवन इन वैश्य रत्नावली रिगार्डिंग कुमार कल्याण रस सो वेन यू लुक इन टू द डीटेल्स रस सिंदूर इज वन ऑफ द मेन इंग्रीडियंट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर योग रस सिंदूर इज प्रिपेर्ड बै पारद एंड एज वेल एज गंधक and then the mardana will be done with the vata vatankura swarasa and then by means of kupi pakorasa a special method of preparation of the medicine in ayurveda kupi pakorasa method by using a glass bottle so this rasa sindura is prepared and rasa sindura will be collected in the uppermost part of the bottle sublimation like reaction so this is one of the main ingredient okay so parada and gandaka gandaka is also a rasayana parada is also basically a very good rasayana and it is a top most uh, drug in uh, ayurveda rashastra so by this method it is prepared so there is a mixing of parada and as well as gandaka and then the bhavana will be given the triturated it is triturated with the uh, vatankura sura so vatankura sura so refers to uh, this ficus religiosus plant okay its buds are taken and its rasa will be used for the this so this is one ingredient rasa sindura another important ingredient is mukta basma so mukta shukti so these belongs to shukla vargas shukla vargas or sudha vargas so where mukta is mentioned so mukta is one of the drug which is very rich in usually the drug contains uh, calcium okay so different forms of the calcium called calcium and phosphorus and manganese so these are the three important uh, uh ions which are present in the mukta basma in mukta is taken it is prepared into basma mukta basma is basically containing the ionic portions of this calcium phosphorus and as well as to some extent manganese similarly swarna basma the gold basma okay so this is considered as rasayana in ayurveda and also the swarna basma has been used in many many preparations many many, many preparations and totally swarna basma is considered as a, a rasayana drug okay it has got a free radical scavenging activity so it is very good for oxidative stress related disorders another is abraka basma abraka basma abraka satvapatana when you do or abraka basma when you do so ultimately the end product is again uh, that is nothing but iron iron fe plus ions will be 
available. So that is also there. Similarly, Swarna Makshika Basma. Swarna Makshika Basma also, sometimes it is used as a substitution for the Swarna, but uh, otherwise Swarna Makshika Basma also the end product is always again uh, the uh, iron, iron uh, ions or molecules. Now all these drugs are taken, these drugs are taken and they are then again uh, given Bhavana or titrated with the Kumari Swarasa. Now Kumari Swarasa is also called as a Grita Kumari and it is one of the very famous drug in Ayurveda. And uh, Grita Kumari has got a hepatoprotective action and as well as uh, it facilitates the bile secretion. It is Pitta Rechaka. It is Pitta Rechaka. And uh, so like that uh, Grita Kumari Rasa is uh, used. So the Bhavana is given with uh, this particular Grita Kumari Rasa. Grita Kumari is nothing but uh, aloe vera. Now, after giving bhavana, the vati is prepared, the tablets are prepared, the tablet size will be that of the mudga size, mudga size tablets are prepared. Now this tablet size are of mudga size, but uh, this mudga size vati can be given in half or full portion according to the severity of the disease that will come out. Sa ardhamva, vatim, vatimva ardhamva, okay. Then, uh, anupana, anupana, uh, through along with which uh, vehicle it should be given that is milk and as well as uh, sugar so milk uh, the contents of the milk we know that and sugar uh, rich in carbohydrate so this is referred in uh, Baishajya Ratnavali now we come to the another portion of the same that is we know the contents and uh, we know the uh, the drugs and now what are all the indications of this particular uh, Kumar Kalyana Rasa. So basically the Kumar Kalyana Rasa is indicated in Jwara, Shwasa, Vamana. This is one set of disorders. Okay, Jwara, Shwasa, Vamana. Now see, a growing child always have the problems related to immunity. Okay, growth and development of the child is very important to have a normal pattern of a living. Now, most of the time, children will have problems related to food, the problems related to growth and development, problems related to mental development, problems related to immunity, etc. And many of the disorders in a normal child or when, during the stage of development in a child, the many of the time, immunity is a big factor. That means normally children will have reduced immunity or decreased immunity because of the various factors. Okay, so because of the various factors, some of the physiological factors, some of the anatomical factors, some of the biochemical factors. Okay, so because of, uh, sometimes because of the dependency uh, or sometimes irregular feeding had pattern, etc. So immunity of the child is always less. And immune cells which are present in the body are also not properly get sensitized to the external environment. So chance of again and again getting infected by the different types of virus, especially by the different types of virus is quite common. Bacterial infections in a child is common if the child has got some khavaigunya inside it like structural problems or some uh, uh, the congenital problems or some deformities etc. So then chance of bacterial infections are common otherwise a child is having more chance to acquire the viral infection because immunological development of the child is not up to the mark it is not completely sensitized immune system and the B lymphocytes or, or uh, rather the T lymphocyte okay proliferation of the T lymphocytes is going on it takes its own time so usually a newborn or infant school going child so most of the time he faces problem related to recurrent respiratory tract infection by the virus now when they say Kumar Kalyantrasa so when such a recurrent respiratory tract infections etc is there okay so it may be recurrent respiratory tract infections sometime it may be because of the recurrent gastrointestinal tract infection or maybe sometimes recurrent uh, urinary tract infections or sometimes maybe recurrent skin infection so these are quite common in in a growing child owing to the problem related to immunity so therefore they say two important things kumaranam jwaram shwasam kumaranam jwaram and as well as shwasa and then again say diarrhea and vamana vamanam and atisarasya that means this is what i covered uh, recurrent respiratory tract infections, recurrent gastrointestinal tract infections. So these two are the common entities in the children and when it becomes chronic then Kumara Kalyan Rasa is best. Okay, so we have to go for Kumara Kalyan Rasas. Other mentioned things are like Graha Dosha Nikilan. 
okay it is also good for the graha doshas now the term graha dosha is referred to the infectious disorders that means affliction of the different infectious disorders in the children now infectious disorders what they require is proper immunity if the body immunity is not up to the mark definitely you will have infections so in all the infectious disorders also again so this particular uh, this particular kumara kalendrasa is a very very good similarly they says that kamala so when they say kamala it is related to the liver now we know that liver is considered as the seat of metabolism okay so the root for all success is a proper metabolism so because agni that is what we say agni agni should be normal otherwise uh, whatever food you would take uh, whatever ingredients you take it will not get properly metabolized properly absorbed and properly utilized so this purpose agni has to be maintained well so for that purpose they says that uh, uh, for that purpose only they says that kamala alam. kamala here the word kamala refers to not exactly the jaundice kamala word refers to uh, the whole hepato reticular endothelial system hepatic reticular endothelial system involvement so in any conditions where reticular endothelial system involvement is there okay so usually when metabolism goes down in the common language it is a liver bahut dal hai so theek hai so then usually the baby is victim of different types of immunological disorders okay so immune related different immune deficiency etc so therefore to cover that uh, the drugs uh, are there like kumari swarasa kumari is pitarechaka okay kumari is very good yakrut uthechaka and uh, kumari is also very good in including the agni also anyway so like way so this is mentioned okay stanyasya agrahanam the child is not willing to take the breast milk <coughs> the why child is not taking because um, it is not having good appetite now again these drugs will also go into increase the appetite of the child krishatam parigarbhikam that means again the two important disorders mentioned one is krishata another one is parigarbhika parigarbhika is nothing but a nutritional disorder which occurs in the infantile period krishata is again a nutritional disorder which occurs in the later part of the life again he says that once the nutrition that means once the metabolism is not proper once the digestion is not proper once the liver is very dull it affects the whole digestion and as well as metabolism okay so the body is nourished by the products of the metabolism okay so if i take carbohydrate food and the end product is glucose if i take uh, the fatty food the end product is fatty acid uh, and if uh, the protein food the end product is amino acid now from the protein it has to be converted into amino acid and this is the role of metabolism this is the role of agni okay so this agni has to be proper for the proper production of the end portion okay and end products end products so this is that in all such problems this is a good combination so these are all the that means a recurrent respiratory tract infection recurrent gastrointestinal tract infection or any conditions which decreases the body immunity or recurrent infectious disorders and recurrent disorders related to the liver and as well as reticular endothelial system and different types of metabolic problems the drug kumara kalyan rasa product the, the yoga kumara kalyan rasa is best so this is what is mentioned in the classics now we come to the next part in the present contest when we give kumara kalyan rasa what are the conditions that we can give or oh, any child who is having recurrent respiratory tract infection minute the recurrent respiratory tract infection for a long time okay all the time it is not uh, uh, much severe but a child if it is suffering from recurrent respiratory tract infections yes this is one of the indication jwara kasa etc huh? similarly child is suffering from recurrent resp- uh, gastrointestinal problem where he mentions omitting diarrhea agni vikruti okay etc similarly child is suffering from some liver and reticular endothelial system related disorders because all these three symptoms or these systems what i am telling so they directly have their impact on the immune system why they are happening basically if you look into that it is the less body immunity itself is a cause for all these things recurrent respiratory tract recurrent gat infections okay even uh, the liver dullness etc the dullness of the liver that means liver related liver and accessory organ related problems again the problem is always with the immunity why there is a problem with the immunity because the metabolism is not up to the metabolism is not up to the mark so that is a important issue 
now one more important thing that we have to consider is what is the mode of action of this kumara kalyan rasa mode of action of this kumara kalyan rasa one of the important drug is rasa sindura similarly the important drug is mukta basma swarna basma abrak basma so ultimately if you see this particular combination actually provides a very good amount of macro and micro nutrients to the body now the micronutrients like a calcium micro iron micronutrients like sodium potassium and then we have got manganese etc so they play a very important role in the maintaining the body metabolism if you look into the metabolism all the metabolic activities maybe protein metabolic pathway uh, amino acid metabolic pathway glucose pathway or fatty acid beta oxidation pathway if you see there are need of so many cofactors catalyst and micro minerals for the initiation of that particular metabolic pathway now these are the drugs like calcium ions are there phosphorus ions and so there then sulfur ions are there when i talk rasa sindura okay sometime the uh, parada uh, in its own easily absorbable a non toxic form so that will be the iron is there zinc is there so these play a very important role in maintaining the maintaining the metabolic pathways once your metabolic pathways are okay then the end products are properly formed and when the end products are formed the body immunity is maintained when the body immunity is good then you are not victim of different type of infections like respiratory tract gat or some other infections therefore agni vaikritam he states that agni this is very good in agni vaikritam that means basically Rogaha sarve bhi mandagno. Metabolism has to be increased. Now you have to look into the fact that what are the requirement of proper metabolism? Requirement is one is products, maybe protein end products, calcium uh, sorry uh, carbohydrate end products or fat end products. Along with that, for initiation and continuation of that metabolic pathway, it may be phosphorus path, uh, phosphogenous pathway, hydrogenous pathway. Many pathways are there. Okay, transaminase pathways. Okay, lactic, um, the glycolytic pathways, beta oxidative pathway. For the pathways, what we require is micro minerals. These micro minerals are the igniting factors, or they are catalyst, cofactor. Sometimes they are cofactor. That sometimes they are catalyst, or sometimes they are present in the ion form, like uh, carbonic anhydrase, calcium ions, uh, zinc ions, magnesium ions. So that that particular ion should be there for the proper continuation of that particular metabolic pathway. So this particular yoga gives all such micronutrients. Uh, ions catalyst cofactors etc which is required for all the metabolic pathways and therefore when it is given it corrects the metabolism once the metabolism is corrected then the end product utilization is proper metabolic pathways are okay and body is getting the end products of the metabolism and then it will nourish the immune system properly and the child will be devoid of the many many disorders so this is how i think we have to understand this particular yoga and also the indications with this i conclude thank you very much again we will meet with another class please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much